Oh, well, yeah, pretty dense fog across the Omaha metro area. Take a look at the shot from the Lewis and Clark Skycam back toward what is usually Epley, now shrouded in fog. And we can't even see the skyline of Omaha, which we typically see uh, from this angle. 51 at the airport right now, very low visibility with high humidity. And you can see that bullseye of low visibility. That's an eighth of a mile at the airport. Quarter to a half mile visibility across a lot of the metro area. Three quarters of a mile in Beatrice early this morning. Upper 40s and low 50s in eastern Nebraska, mid 50s under the clouds in western Iowa. And even though it shows that we're clearing out, we still have those low clouds, the fog across the Omaha metro, and they'll probably hang over us through most of the morning. Now we do see the sun this afternoon. That'll warm us up ahead of a cold front that comes through tonight. And you can see we still have the chance of some stronger th thunderstorms. Not really a big deal like yesterday, I don't think, but we could see some large hail, especially some damaging winds and heavy rain as these storms will likely grow into a line late tonight. Now this morning, again, clouds lingering probably through about 10 o'clock and then starting to break apart by noon, mid to upper 60s by the middle of the day. And then with the sun this afternoon, we're going to warm well into the 70s, upper 70s and near 80 degrees across most of the area and a little muggy as well. So there's warmth, there's moisture. There's the cold front starting to sweep through eastern Nebraska as we go through the evening. The storms could be in Omaha as early as 9 o'clock, so most evening plans will be just fine. Just keep an eye on the radar after about 9. Upper 60s by 10 o'clock. We get one initial line to come through around 9 or 10, and then more thunderstorms, what could be a bigger line of storms after midnight, and then lingering showers and thunderstorms into Wednesday. So we're heading into another pretty stormy period tomorrow. We drop into the upper 60s for highs through the rest of the work week, and then another front comes through on Friday. This one will send our highs to near 60 going into the weekend.